Hello, everyone. I'm Rezo Imnaze from Identomat. Um, Identomat is a company for online ident identification and KYC. That is, uh, if you know the topic, I, I think you are uh, very familiar. Maybe you're f familiar with this. Uh, the, it is when we, when a company needs a service to uh, identify a person online, uh, and they don't want to get the person uh, to the uh, uh, to the operator, and we are here. It was yeah, and our topic today is. Uh, how AI helped our startup, our company to achieve these uh, these objectives and goals. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, AI. Uh, wh what is what what uh, what is the part of the AI in our business? Is it just a toy or a mission critical thing or tool uh, to achieve the uh, achieve the goals? Uh, uh, that's what I'm going to talk today, questioning everything. Um, yeah, our main goal uh, is to mission is to solve real life problems uh, through the intelligent automation. Uh, we, uh, as uh, me and my partner, begin to work with this project, our uh, our uh, the product that we were choosing was about all about automation because uh, we easily measure what impact do we have. It's not an entertainment, not a um, arts and such. Uh, it's really easy to prove that you did something good and to bring this, uh, 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 and it's a good cause because we are uh, removing the mundane tasks from the, uh, from the society, it's a global, uh, global uh, benefits, and we want wanted to be here. So, uh, and uh, AI ca ca comes into play with the uh, with uh, with these goal goals. Uh, and now I'm going to uh, bring an example uh, in banking, uh, how these KYC system works for them. What was before, and what what is what will be in the future. Uh, let's let's go deep in the uh, banking example. So this is uh, when uh, there are some points where uh, banks need to identify their users. Uh, actually, all the operations and also the regulators are asking for, to do them, and also the, they need that for the for the risks uh, to lower the risks. So. Uh, First is uh, it's an onboarding example of uh, uh, when customer comes and gets the credit. Uh, first is when uh, when he or she comes to the branch uh, bank branch and shows the ID identification uh, uh, document to the uh, to the operator. Uh, the operator copies the ID. Checks the uh, saves in the database, then fills in the account uh, information, creates an account if it doesn't exist, and um, yeah, checks for proof of address if uh, this operation needs it, and then is the uh, this is the identification process, and then is uh, actual credits uh, mm, uh, some some tasks that are uh, dependent on the credit uh, issuing process. Then also is the scoring uh, of the uh, person who, uh, if he or she is a pay, uh, is going to pay or not uh, to give, give the score, and in the end it's uh, receiving the money. And we see there are it needs uh, 20 minutes of employee labor for the identification, and these also others are also manual processes, um, and. Uh, yeah, it takes about 80 human years of 1 million customers to be uh, get on board and issue the uh, issue the credits for them. It's really really slow process. Also, not mentioning the uh, costs of the of uh, branches itself and also the decision making process for the person who wants to get to the at the specific place, uh, not instantly in their applications. 
uh, with AI, we uh, and with our solution or with AI, there's these things are automated. Uh, it's no surprise <laughs> we're for the, here for that. Uh, this process takes less than a minute. Uh, also, it's in, it, there are additional checks uh, that are done, and the quality of the checks are better than usually uh, operators have. We we think sometimes we're good at. Uh, comparing faces, but it's not really true, because uh, as, uh, the AI has some mistakes, but humans do, do more mistakes than uh, AI does. And um, you know, all these parts are part of our, our problems, and we are constantly working on the uh, improvements, what, it, what you cannot very much do in the uh, office branches you could, can, but uh, it's easier to work with the data and uh, simplify the processes through UX and uh, AI models uh, itself, improving their itself. So you see the time difference between these. Yeah, even small banks can uh, fully automate their customer uh, onboarding process and uh, credit issue, issuing process. And I can say that uh, it's not an option, uh, it, at in, and it will not be an option in the future because uh, it's, it will be co competitive disadvantage not to use the online identification process uh, in the near, fu near future. Yeah, it's uh, core, core tool, not just an add-on. Uh, we look like it's an add-on, but it's a core tool for... Uh, and some small businesses that we are working with, uh, small banks, uh, they uh, even created new products based on that uh, that, uh, that didn't exist before. And they are trying to compete with the big banks uh, with these uh, new things. So here we are, Identomat is solving this problem, and I would like to... Uh, I would like to talk about uh, a little bit of details and some of the modules that uh, are done through AI, using AI. Uh, so these are the functionalities that we uh, currently have and are the core, uh, core parts of the solution. Uh, but I can go deep. Yeah. Next. So how it works. First, First is to show your ID. You show your passport or document. Uh, system is scanning this uh, document, checking the photo, uh, machine readable zones and the visual zones. Everything is uh, extracted from the ID. Then it's uh, taking a selfie. Uh, sometimes we have uh, uh, tasks we're doing to users or uh, there's a passive way also. But the main thing, this uh, user shows uh, his or her face and uh, then go to next step. That is, sometimes it depends of the client flow. Uh, is a proof of address uh, to check if a person is there uh, where he has to be and if uh, this person is accepted, accepted for this market. For example, if bank is operating in Georgia uh, or some other country, they need only Georgian uh, customers. And that's it. Uh, uh, the company's uh, internal flow and uh, the process is before and after this. They, show, they have a marketing uh, uh, campaigns. So they direct to our uh, process, identify, and then go to their own uh, process continuing from that. They know whom, uh, their client is real person, he is... Uh, and what is his name, and how old is uh, he or she, and so on. Uh, all the, to, to be compliant, all the regulations, and also to count the risks. Yeah, additional uh, modules also that uh, I, I will not cover, but uh, there are some video chats uh, to the real human, because uh, actually, we started from automation at the beginning, but the real start is to have a conversation with the uh, operator, and then you need to automate this process. But we started from the automation, but this is also required. Because of some regulations uh, also, from, for example, in Germany, they are, you're not allowed to 
um, use the automatic process, so we, oh, for, for sure we need uh, video verification. AML screening, uh, it's uh, to check for sanction, uh, in sanction list to not to do, uh, to do uh, oper financial operations if, if the person is sanctioned, and also some manual uh, reviewing process also can be, uh, is possible from a, uh, an AML officer. And yeah, optional human in the loop. Uh, if some parameters is uh, parameters is uh, not uh, for you very satisfying. If your if customer is taking out a lot of money or uh, transferring it, uh, you may have uh, risk levels uh, uh, set to higher, and uh, you can uh, put the human uh, just to review the pro uh, session if it's correct or not, uh, if if everything is all right or not just for the high-risk operations. Uh, yeah, well, we are promising uh, bringing the change to the, to the world, actually. We see ourselves uh, with, the, um, with giants that, are, uh, with, that did some big changes, in, for example, in online payments or uh, payment uh, Processing, for example, PayPal or Stripe, uh, and when com companies create it uh, and they want to payment, they uh, instantly think about the um, PayPal or Stripe that you want. They want for payment to use that, and we are we want to be identified when they need to identify their users there. So it's almost the identical uh, missing part as it was for payments in the internet. Yeah. Yeah, where we are right now, we have more than 50 companies on our board. Um, yeah, uh, these details, uh, uh, lots of document types will that comply with the standards. Uh, most of companies, uh, lot of, lots of companies are from Georgia. We expanded to Ukraine, United States. We moved our, com our company to United States. Now we are based in there in Chicago. And... Um, uh, we are a global company now, uh, and we also raised uh, 3.2 million uh, for the seed investments. Thanks. <laughs> that, um, we, we didn't know that was a big thing, but we, that was a part of the <laughs> process, and <laughs> just today we uh, heard that it is a really big, big, big thing for Georgia, so we'll... Um, uh, spread some information about it uh, sometime later. <laughs> also, we are certified for uh, data protection, uh, for uh, biometrics, and we're compliant with, G with GDPR sometimes when uh, our clients want to see the trust, uh, they check uh, uh, third-party certifi certifiers, uh, not our words, so we are there. Uh, so these are the list of modules that uh, AI covers in uh, here in Identomat, and you see the lots of them are here. All of them are made by us, uh, not because we wanted to just make our solutions, but because we tried some others and they were not so that uh, they didn't have the quality, and also we didn't have some control that we wanted to improve that, because there's a there's a really big gap. Some uh, when I will talk about the metrics, there are really big, big, big gap in the in the world about identification, and uh, we wanted to change that. Uh, so you see that uh, document reading with the different scripts, uh, the type detection, uh, machine readable zone detection, and such face face stuff, and uh, also scoring. You see all of them here. And I can talk about uh, the inputs. What kind of in inputs uh, do we have? And you uh, guessed it. Uh, there's a vid video, uh, photo inf information, and scans. The mostly computer from the computer vision, and we that's got, that gets into our modules. Uh, uh, and the result is the thing that the user gets, uh, company gets from extracted from this information. We um, mostly work with the regular cameras to be, that's not the, 
we want to be an ident identification to be accept uh, acceptable for everyone. So uh, the phones with the cameras are everywhere. So this uh, there is no another thing to like. Uh, world is ready for that. So yeah. Uh, and the most important things that are KPIs that we have. We have to keep it simple, and we have to. Um, it has to cover cover uh, everything. So there are two things. Where one is trust from companies, and second is uh, uh, second is uh, practicality for companies. Um, so first is to uh, minimize and maximize the enrollment rate. That is when uh, a person starts the process to finish it. We there are a lot of drops because of different reasons, lots of reasons. If you make more steps for the user, more drop for rate you will have. So uh, we, we have to keep this rate the highest. Um, sometimes it's when the user doesn't have a camera. Sometimes they look at the camera and they are scared and then they turn it off. Uh, and uh, so Lots of lots of uh, different uh, reasons. Sometimes they spoof, trying to spoof the process. Uh, they want to uh, register with grandma's ID card, uh, so the drop rate will not be 100. Uh, uh, enrollment rate will not be as 100 uh, percent. Uh, never ever because of that. <laughs> and false uh, minimizing false acceptance rate. That is that is thing that should not ever happen. This is uh, the trust from the uh, companies, uh, our clients, because they don't want their, uh, to issue money or uh, loan with the false person who is uh, behind the... Uh, that is a normal thing that they, uh, the companies are um, very skeptical about uh, online, uh, online identification, but we are trying to keep it low and keep it to zero. Uh, sometimes we, uh, we can improve enrollment rate to risk the acceptance, uh, uh, false acceptance. For example, if you let the liveness be more, um, more simple, uh, simpler, uh, then, accept, uh, then the system may reject, uh, accept uh, spoofing attempts. So we have to keep the golden uh, middle. So yeah, that's our KPIs. Yeah, uh, is AI useful for us? That was the question, but actually uh, without that, uh, this business will not exist. It will not exist because most of the modules are done with AI, without it doesn't uh, exist really. Uh, it gave us ability to create things. We, we would work in automation for sure, because that's our mindset, but not with the identification and KYC, because the AI was not existed before. Yeah, but, but it's not, we are not telling anyone that we are AI company. We are, not, we are not telling that we are AI startup. startup. We are a solution uh, uh, problem solvers, and we are automators. And um, I, AI is just a tool uh, we use uh, in every place, but it's still it's a tool. Uh, so I, that is my recommendation for others to, like, uh, to be your, their mind to be Mm, to the problem, uh, sol solving the problems, not the, not to uh, br bringing with the coming with the hype and using it as a muscle's hammer. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's uh, we are a team of twenty two. Uh, we are four here. Uh, like, well, the photos who the, whose photos we have here. <laughs> Uh, management, uh, we could put all of them, but yeah, they are, uh, not, we are not much. We started as a small, uh, small team to be uh, experts in the field and to, like, to be most efficient that we could do, most efficient way to work. And yeah, we would like you to and others who are online to 
join us. Uh, and if you are talented with these fields, so with not only with AI, on other uh, other things that are UI, UX, and web development, and uh, or just generally uh, engineering and marketing and everything that is connected with this, and generally problem solving, we are here to. Yeah, to listen to you and to make you work with us. And yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, doing this. Well, let's open the floor uh, to the questions. Do we have questions from the audience? Uh, maybe have some questions from Zoom or Slack. And while you are thinking of your questions, I'm giving you a few more seconds. I have a bunch of questions to Rezo like a bunch of them. All right, so let me start. Um, but first of all, con congrats obviously on scaling in Georgia for you know scaling in other countries. Uh, however, for us, uh, I think the question is how skeptical the Georgian business is, or let me put it this way, how difficult was that for you to convince them that they have to, you know, innovate, they, they have to use such an innovative technology as you know, automation of AML and um, face recognition and verification. Um, let me say that we started this process in uh, 2019, uh, at the end of the 19 like, um, summer. There was no thing there, everything was all right, everything uh, looked smooth, and we could not find the client here because they didn't know what the what the online identification was. We had to uh, talk about everything, but uh, all the details, but uh, uh, there was a transformation when everyone, everything was locked down. And after a month, we never needed to talk about what this product was because that was a transformation and that um, it worked uh, really good for us <laughs> to explain what what we were going to do and what we're doing. I think was. so. Basically, yeah, COVID somehow helped your yeah. business take off, right? Um, the, the second question I have is: you, you mentioned that obviously it's not just you know the phase verification; it's also uh, validation. It's also uh, validation of the documents, right? And you have the OCR, optical uh, character, uh, character recognition, recognition um, component to that. Uh, the question again is just uh, our Georgian reality. Most of you know we have a very special, very unique uh, Georgian alphabet here. Uh, how difficult, how challenging was for you to develop the OCR? <sighs> Yeah, it, uh, it was a requirement and first uh, at the beginning we didn't start for the Georgian market but uh, as uh, contacts were more here and this is a good reference from our market for us, we started to work here and uh, Georgian alphabet is required and for the re from the regulators for example, ba uh, central bank uh, also re requires that. So we have a team of uh, higher team of labelers. So we have these data. We're giving them, letting them to label all this uh, stuff. We made uh, uh, different modules for different scripts. Uh, we have three right now: Georgian, Russian, uh, Cyrillic, and uh, Lat Latin. But uh, it's already in the pi pipeline how we can add next language in the process. First was really not easy, but. <laughs> Next one is, it will be easy. Yeah. All right, thank you. Do we have questions, by the way? Did you think of your questions? Oh, we actually have questions here. Uh, and one more question there. So can uh, anyone help us with the microphones or I can actually do that, yep. Thank you. So my question is about the ID types. What kind of ID types are you uh, working with? In Georgia, I mean, I you uh, working with driver and license, yeah. uh, general ID cards, passports, yeah. I don't yeah. know. You all are, of them, yeah. All we of have, them. Yeah, we have a, a configuration mechanism that can be, uh, that is used for any kind of document. We generally detect the document and then we know, what we detect the type of the document and we know where everything is there. So in Georgia, we are covered entirely. In the world, we are uh, working with the standards, there are IAC, ICAO, uh, ACAO standard for the documents, and uh, who uh, the, com the documents that are following these standards we can read, 
but w if there are some different, uh, really different documents, we can add to our configuration whenever it how, is. Uh, how about technical passport for automobiles in yeah. Georgia? Sorry? Technical passport, tech passport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your uh, driving license, license is. Uh, no, yeah. driving license is different stuff. Ah, tech, tech passport. Yeah, it's also possible to be imported. No, no one uh, asked before to add to our uh, system the tech and te technical passport, but uh, yeah, it's really easy to add to our. And system. now you extract the data from there, right? Uh, sorry. You extract the data from them. Uh, from from the document, so we extract the data for sure. Okay. Yes, sure. It also has a QR uh, side of it, but it's not easy it's not sometimes easy. Uh, to read from the computer cameras. But uh, anyway, we also extract the visual side, so there will be no problem. Okay. And another question, if I may. Yeah. Uh, what about competitors, who you what compete about? with in Georgian market and internationally? Yeah. And That's what's your advantage, competitive advantage? A lot of a uh, lot of it uh, because yeah that's our everyday something to think about. Uh, uh, there are we at the beginning started as the company to uh, bring the comp components together, but we didn't like the components that we started to do the ourselves. So most of the companies in Georgia at least are the you know, companies that just collect some other vendors. They, they don't have advantage to specifically work on the issues. For example, like reading the uh, tech passport, passport they, they, I think they cannot do that because they're big companies. They cannot support uh, additional these kind of uh, documents. But we, are, we, uh, we have this our own and uh, we easily can uh, polish our, uh, our products for the specific uh, results. Also, uh, in global, uh, from the global side, uh, why some companies really changed their solutions to ours? Ours, uh, in Georgia, for example, they were using international companies, but uh, the problem was they were not getting some changes they wanted to, like uh, giant companies. They are small. They don't. They are not. Uh, they are actually not small, but for Georgia, they are uh, for the world. They are small. And they were not getting the enough support and the quality improvements of the product they, they wanted to get. And they said, uh, said that well, our team was great and they were, worked, liked to work with us. And that was also some point that uh, uh, works with, uh, against our big uh, global competitors, for example. Thanks. Yeah, we also had one more question there. Yeah. Also the price. <laughs> we are. Uh, we want that not to be. Uh, one more thing I want to underline. Right now the uh, market is okay with to with uh, with the process that you are asking a, a ID um, a company to co communicate with you to start the process, and it takes three months or so to get to the contract and do everything or calls and everything we want that to be autom uh, automated and as you uh, imagine for registering on the paper or stripe also that i take the example for so yeah it will be fast all right thank you and do we have more questions here in the audience oh yeah we have Um, is it possible to identify a person with mask wearing a mask? Yeah, that's our... Uh, Only with eyes? Yeah, that, uh, that's also the part of the spoofing uh, detection. In spoofing we, ha we have different uh, things, but most, uh, the most important is the screen detection, uh, paper detection, and mask detec detection. And we have all the data uh, uh, for this, uh, we, are, we have our models for spoofing detection uh, separately, and we cover that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the question. Do we have more, or maybe we have something happening in Zoom or in Slack? Actually, I had one question. Okay, please. Um, so I'm like very fond of like new technologies making our lives easier. But um, every time when um, some of the service providers uh, approach me with the suggestion of like make things easier, like I don't know, like voice um, detection or something like that, I'm still like hesitant because I have the um, concerns about the security because I know it will make um, 
like it's uh, easier to make like business processes, but also it will be easier for the forgers to like um, forge my identity or like, you know, I don't, do not feel like secure in that regard. Like, uh, could you like, I don't know, like share something with me that would make me more open to this like technological uh, advancements? Are you a uh, end user or you are a company who wants to trust us? Like end, end user, like just a uh, okay. like person who, mm. That is a who sometimes is deprived of the choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's really a, a problem, uh, and it is a slow process of trusting the the kind of services, and uh, we want that to be or keep our trust level as high as possible, and because if some something happens, uh, then whole market will be uh, compromised, and trust will be compromised. And, and um, yeah, how can I uh, may, uh, make you to believe in this uh, uh, regard? I think it's about uh, what you get and what you lose. Uh, there's you may risk uh, for, at the beginning when you don't trust it. So you may have really big benefit to uh, do some operations online. For example, there are applications, so wa uh, online wallets, uh, Georgian online wallets, you, you use it, you show your card, you, you your document and so on, because you have a lot of benefit with that. Risk will always exist, but uh, you accept this risk in the benefit that you get. And yeah, most uh, after some time, that will be more socially accepted thing to uh, put your stuff online. Also, there are some uh, some uh, in our agenda to do uh, identification decentralized that some data can uh, will not be shared to the servers, and that will be even better thing. And part of the increasing the tr trust. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So do we have questions from Zoom or from Slack or from the audience? Because I actually have two questions, but maybe we can choose only one. Are we limited in time or we can ask both of them? Okay, I'm gonna ask the both questions and then see what the audience thinks, which one, uh, uh, which one we should answer. So one of them is about the emotion detection. I saw it on your slides, like how the emotion detection works. <laughs> Maybe you can talk a bit about that. Or you can tell us about, you also mentioned that human error rate is significantly higher than the AI error, the false detection. So which, like, what are the actual numbers? So which one do you want to answer? <laughs> both, okay, let, let's do both. Uh, uh, I can say, uh, first was the, Remind you what was the first The emotion thing. detection, how does yeah, it work? Emotion, yeah. That was the hardest thing to uh, label for, for me. Uh, like, is person uh, smiled or it's not smiled or what is the level of the smile? And it's really boring just to label. <laughs> yeah, we're, we have this one emotion uh, in the lightness detection when we uh, check if a user is smiling. There are other emotions, we don't need it right now, but uh, yeah, we are giving a task to user to smile at certain points, uh, and we are waiting him to react uh, uh, in a good time frame. So that's why we need the motion detection. Yeah, so, so you are basically checking if, it's not, if it was not a pre-recorded video or something yeah, like that. Yeah, sure, sure. Randomize the uh, lightness detection. All right, and, and, and my second question, as I said, like if you could elaborate a bit more on how, like, how significantly higher is the um, false uh, detection like by the AI uh, and the, like versus human. Yeah. And, and just on top of that, have you also played uh, with uh, the deep fakes? Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, one, um, I can give you an example like our everyday life when we are checking our AI model and also real uh, data. When the person, uh, we have our uh, session sessions and we take the couples of document face and the human face. And we check all of them, just cropped faces, and we say they, these people are not the same we, for ourselves. But then we, uh, like most of the time, AI is more correct uh, when it sees the, makes them couples, then uh, yeah, then uh, the uh, humans, we, we are in the office, that we are checking the quality of the service. <laughs> That's one of the examples. Uh, I, I right now don't know the exactly how humans uh, have and they will be in the back. Yeah. 
No, 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 yeah, something like that. But the exact numbers is are in the actually in the banks and so, such uh, places. <laughs> All right, this is excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much once again. Thank uh, Rezo, you. thank you for doing thank this. Thank you for having me.